a new color equalizer module? What is Darktable up to? Darktable 4.8 has just been released. What's new? Well, aside from many bug fixes, here are the main ones. Number 1. The map is now much faster. According to the release notes, it can now be used with a million geotagged images. I don't think I have a million geotagged images, but it looks fast. Number 2. The snapshot feature now has a button that replaces the history with the history of the chosen snapshot. Number 3. You can now add a text description to the color labels so you remember what you are using them for. Number 4. In the quick access panel, you can now reset and apply presets. Number 5. There's new camera support. Many new cameras can be used with Darktable, such as the Canon R8 and the Sony A9 Mark III. Number 6. In the bottom panel, there's a new button that tells Darktable to apply your edits on the entire image data. This allows you to see your image exactly as it would appear when you export it. Actually, 99% of the time, there isn't much difference between these two states, but on occasion, you may see some artifacts that don't appear on export. To double check this, use this button. Now we get to the new modules. Number 7. The biggest new addition is the amazing Color Equalizer, which is a scene-referred replacement for the Color Zones module. That means it works better with the sigmoid and filmic modules. In practice, the results should look a lot more natural than the Color Zones module. Although it lacks a few features of the Color Zones module, it has some good stuff that the Color Zones module just ain't got, such as contrast, effect radius, and saturation threshold sliders. These give you fine-tuned control over how the different hue areas are selected, which can allow you to gain a smoother effect based on your image. Number 8. There's also an enlarged canvas module. It adds a new area to the image that can be filled with the Retouch, Liquify, or New Overlay module. I'll get to the Overlay module in a second, but here is one application of the enlarged module. If you have a relatively uniform area in your image, such as a sky, you can expand the image with the enlarged canvas module and clone part of the image into the expanded area. This could be useful for portrait photography and other weird stuff. Number 9. Finally, there's a composite module, which you can use to overlay one image onto another. You can use this with the enlarged canvas to do stuff, like make simple panoramas and combine firework shots. Although it won't work well for complex panoramas, it's an interesting module that may have its uses. That's about all there is. Thank you to all the Darktable developers and users. Down with Adobe! I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again next time.